Hey everybody, I'm Dieter Kurtenbach. This is my brother and plaid, Logan Murdoch. We're here at the Warriors facility. Warriors just got a new player, Jacob Evans out of Cincinnati. Uh, first impressions on Jacob Evans, a man that we, actually you have met. You met, met him. him. I met him. I met you him. know what this guy's about. I do. Okay, scouting report, real fast, go. He does everything. Well, he does, <laughs> the, fa the fact is they really liked him in his workouts. I talked to a couple coaches about um, his, wor his second workout yeah, yesterday. Yeah, his second workout yesterday, and I think the biggest impression was him is that he did everything solid. He made the extra pass. It may not have been flashy, but he did everything that you, yeah. that you would want him to do. And that really fits in with the with the the Warriors culture. Like somebody that sure. can play defense. He's not necessarily a great ball handler, but he can shoot the three. Mm -hmm. they, he does what exactly what they need him to do. So I think that that was a big thing for them, and um, as opposed to you know Marvin Frazier, who was you know yeah the kid out of Tulane, the kid out of Tulane who you know who who might give you flash and stuff, but he's still a raw product. This guy was yeah. a more finished product than that guy. So I think that that was really a help, and that, that ultimately um, went into the decision to draft. Yeah, the Warriors picking at number 28 tonight. The biggest thing that they said coming into this draft was they were looking for a guy who had a little bit of experience, who could provide depth at the wing, and also could contribute right away. Mm -hmm. And Jacob Evans, there's a reason that he was high on the Warriors draft board. He can do those things. It's pretty clear that he's a guy who, you know, Bob, or Bob Myers just said, Steve Kerr's not going to have a problem playing this guy. Uh, now, whether that's wishful thinking or not is remains to be seen. He has to come in and earn it, and he's got to prove that he's an NBA player. But Draymond Green gave a vote of confidence to the pick. Uh, he's GM Draymond. Dr yeah. GM Draymond Green. <laughs> Shadow GM. Bob Myers hasn't actually done anything in weeks. It's all Draymond Green. Um, this is a guy who's tough-nosed. He's going to be defensive. He's a wing, but he's more of a two mm -hmm. who can guard twos, threes, and ones than maybe kind of a bigger wing. Um, which is fine. This is an interesting development, though, because the Warriors did not get into the second round. This is something that I was almost sure they were going yeah. to do, which is buy a second round draft pick and select another player, probably another wing. They didn't do it. Um, ultimately, the guys that they were interested in went off the board before they could make a deal. If that's a smokescreen or not, doesn't really matter. They didn't do it. And so this sets up an interesting free agency period for the Warriors, which starts at the beginning of July, where they, they don't know if they're going to have Pat McCall back. And this guy, Jacob Evans, seems to be kind of a Pat McCall replacement. Yeah. And if they have two of them, they love that. Yeah. Because you saw in the playoffs where they were playing Swaggy P major minutes when you had <laughs> when you had Quinn Cook on the court to hit a potential game winning shot yeah. in the Western Conference Finals, they needed some depth at guard. Well, this is a guy who's going to provide some depth at guard. The interesting question now is how do the Warriors fill out the rest of this roster? There's a lot of free agents out there. They only have the minimum value contracts and a mid-level free agency spot and uh, they gotta you know we don't know who you know if David West is going to come back they're trying to move some of these centers and turn them into wings they perhaps did one of those things today they were able to convert one of those center spots into a wing tonight but they yeah. got to do at least one more if not two not even to mention all of the two-way contract deals so I don't know what it, what do you think this portends for this team going into the free agency period I think the big, it, it, I think it puts the pressure to get Looney because I think that mm. they get, that it'll be easier for them to get McCall with his injuries from the injury standpoint sure. that he had. It's, it's and probably, the fact he's a restricted free agent. Exactly. Yeah. I think it's, a, it's it'll be relatively easy to get McCall, and I think that you know we'll see. We have now we're going to see what happens with Looney, and I, I yeah. think that. But I think back to back to Evans. I think mm -hmm. um, another thing and why this pick kind of seemed right. Bob Myers talked about how um, last year when he got Jordan Bell, he thought that this guy could. This is a guy that can play for us in the playoffs. Right. And um, I I think that's why they got they got Evans because he can have the tools and that he we don't know if he can right now but he has the tools more so and he has a more finished product too when he, when they develop him throughout the season yeah. he can play into the conference finals and the finals something Andre Wadala told me it might have been years ago at this point mm -hmm. it seems that, that that season lasted forever but Andre Wadala said even if we weren't this talented I would take our team over any team in the NBA because we're so damn smart mm -hmm. Jacob Evans is going to fit that mold. Yeah. Every scouting report I've seen, every person that's talked about him says that this is a high IQ guy both on and off the court. That means he's going to fit in well here. And Bob Meyer said he's a professional. He's no nonsense. Again, that's going to fit in well here. That's someone that you can trust. And trust is the big operative word when it comes to a draft pick. You have a lot of guys who the Warriors have taken as projects. They've had to build up that trust. They needed somebody from day one who can come in. Steve Kerr never developed a trust with Nick Young. There are some guys that you just you can't trust to put out there. And the Warriors are drafting a guy that, as you mentioned, they're looking to play in the postseason. Mm -hmm. 
They need a rookie who can play in the postseason. That means you have to have trust from day one and get better from there on out. Jacob Evans seems like a guy who can do that again. You're the only one who's met the kid. We haven't seen him play against NBA level competition. Should be interesting to see how he goes in summer league. If he is indeed a high IQ guy with a big motor, he should dominate in summer league. That's an area where, frankly, those things really stand out. And uh, you know, it's a long way to go until the season starts and there's a lot of roster changes that can be made, but the Warriors really high on this guy. There was no surprise that when they selected him, this was a guy that I think everyone knew was going to be an option for them at 28. I think the only real surprise of the night is that they didn't get a second draft pick, and uh, we'll have to see how that shuffles everything out. But in the meantime, we're going to wait for Monday. We're going to talk gonna to keep, this kid Monday. And we're going to keep wearing plaid at the same time. So um, Yeah. That's yeah. on Logan because I'm always wearing plaid. It's facts. Plaid is rad. And you know what else is rad? Our coverage God, here on Bay Area News Group. <laughs> It is San Jose Mercury News. We will holler at you guys on Monday. Read Dieter oh. Kurtenbach. Read me. Holla back.